Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're checking out another art book here. We're taking a look at Koichi Tokita's first personal artworks book here. As you can see from that awesome artwork, we're gonna see a lot of different cool stuff in here. Not only Gundam, there's a lot of Gundam stuff in here. There's also a lot of non-Gundam stuff. So the non-Gundam stuff, I'm probably not gonna know a whole lot about necessarily, but we'll at least take a look at this. Some of you guys, uh, even if you're not familiar with the name, you're definitely surely uh, familiar with some of his artwork, I'm sure. So we'll go ahead and get into this and take a look at some cool artwork here for today's video. Let's get into it. Let's start off with this awesome cover here where you can see there's like a little cute angel Haro, very prominently featured an Astray right there on the front. You can see some other Astray pilot artwork here. Some other pilots uh, from different series in here as well. Some SD Gundam, the new, the Sazabi up there. So we got some familiar Gundam artwork here and then some other artwork that you guys will probably recognize, like I said, from other series just to take a look. On the inside, there is the big T, I would assume there for Tokita. And the under the dust jacket is just uh, monochrome green, which looks kind of cool. Let's just flip around here to the back side as well. We've got Domon versus Master Asia in cute SD form there as well. Very cool. Some uh, G Geminis there. Uh, G Unit Gundam Wing side story there. Our list price for this is 4,500 yen, so MSRP 4,500 yen, so about $40. It is going to be a little bit more thick. This one coming in around 143, 44, just under 150 pages. So it's got some good size to it. Let's check this out. There's some more cute like SD artwork there of a uh, hero and Riolina there from Gundam Wing kind of tearing up some manga. That's kind of funny looking there. All right. So we're just going to see a whole bunch of art in here. There's not really going to be a whole lot that I can really give you guys like too much commentary on except for just like pointing out stuff. But uh, we'll take a look through this. It is very cool, especially if you're a fan of uh, his particular art style or just, I mean, a fan of just collecting art from different uh, anime series that you like. Uh, so like here's like, for example, this is a mix of a lot of different stuff. So just if you're a fan of like some of the uh, anime manga that's featured in here, like the Astray series, for example, like some of that's just going to be like artwork from different manga. So yeah, if you're a fan, this is certainly something that might be cool to have in your collection just as, you know, reference or just something to enjoy. It can also be good for like if you're an aspiring artist, uh, cartoonist, uh, anime or kind of manga style art, if you're into that, uh, you know, and this is an artist that you're a fan of, it can be good like reference material for motivation, inspiration kind of. We got some more Gundam artwork here. If you're a fan of SD Gundam artwork, there seems to be a fair amount of that in here. Also like SD characters again, a lot of G Gundam, which I'm certainly a fan of. And a, quite a good mix of like alternative universe as well as uh, Universal Century. Got a lot of like uh, Gundam Wing. And what was that we saw on there? Gundam Wing, uh, G Gundam. I want to say we're probably going to see something from Gundam X in here as well, I would imagine. I'm not sure if we've seen anything yet. I don't think so. There's some more uh, Gundam Wing artwork and quite a lot of variety just between the art as well. Like, can you see stuff like this compared to stuff like this? I mean, like, there's a lot of variety in that, which is also cool to see. You know, it's kind of cool if you were to have like a whole art book where, you know, of like an artist's work where it's all of like one particular style. So like if it was all like this, for example, I mean, that would be cool. But it's cool to see like an artist's range as well. And this is also kind of interesting considering that we, uh, or at least I here on my channel, I just recently did a review of the Mercurius and Vey Savant uh, P Bandai model kits. So there they are from the G Unit Gundam Wing side story there. And there's also the uh, Leo S. I did not get that kit, but it did look like a pretty cool kit. Yeah, here's Gundam X. So yeah, I think, I don't know what made me think that we were going to see some Gundam X. It must have. Uh, seen something on the cover art. Hey, there's uh, Loran from Turn A Gundam as well, so maybe we'll see some Turn A stuff in here, which I'm always a fan of, but Gundam X, yeah. I think I only ever watched the Gundam X uh, series one time, but I have a fond memory of it. I really don't remember it that well, uh, but I just remember that I, I quite liked it. So uh, I'll have to go back and rewatch it at some point because I feel like I enjoyed it, but I don't know, maybe Maybe it was not as good as I remember. Maybe it's a bit of a kind of a rosy glasses kind of situation. But here's some Turn A artwork, which like I said, I'm a fan of Turn A as well. I should go back and rewatch Turn A just because I enjoy it so much. Uh, Shara's Counter Attack. It's another one. I should probably just go back and rewatch some different Gundam anime because I really haven't watched too much Gundam anime really in general, other than just like trying to catch a little bit of kind of the more recent series aside from G-Witch. 
which I've not watched any of yet, except for the prologue. So I should probably watch that and then go back and watch some of the older stuff as well, I would, I would think. Probably be a fun time just to kind of refresh my memories on that stuff. You got a lot of cool uh, SD artwork here as well. Like I said, if you're a fan of this stuff, this is some pretty cool art, especially of like some like the Night Gundam, some of the Musha stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, here we're getting into some of the, what was it, Gundam Builders? Uh, now I'm suddenly forgetting the name of it here with the perfect Gundam and the perfect Zeong. Uh, Gundam Builders, is that right? Uh, anyway, manga there. Here's a whole bunch of different, I would guess this is a gallery of manga cover art that he did for a bunch of different, this is all Gundam it looks like here for the most part, yeah. A lot of different alternate universe uh, Gundam manga cover art here. Getting into turn A, some more SD stuff and the Seed Astray series over here, as well as some artwork there for a Shars Counterattack book cover there it looks like. Oh, even further along into um, more Seed Astray and then uh, Gundam 00, 00 F, 00 I, and some, let's see, Gundam Exa Versus over there, which also looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if I've ever really seen too much about that. Some really interesting manga cover art there. All right, now we're getting into some manga works. So I guess this is broken down into sections. I didn't really take note of that. I mentioned that to you guys. We got uh, manga works, which we already looked at. Manga works one. This is manga works two. There's also going to be Gundam works, uh, Namco works. Omoroid and Evoroids, and then various works. So, we'll kind of make our way through everything here. But this is going to be some more manga works now. You can see these are going to be, I think, some of the illustrations that were used for the cover art for some of those manga that we just saw. But this is just kind of like the uh, standalone versions of just some of like the key illustration, the main illustration from those artworks. So, this is all pretty interesting here. Some more of the cover art here it looks like I would assume just without all the text and everything obviously that you would normally see on the manga cover art. Here's a pretty interesting looking uh, astray there. I'm not really sure what that is but the hat it almost looks like it's got sort of like a pirate hat kind of thing going on but with all this kind of decoration on that it's pretty interesting. I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here that I don't think I've just ever really seen before which is kind of cool. Just always kind of interesting which is why I say like something like this is good for uh, just getting some different ideas and motivation because there's a lot of stuff that you just, at least like in my experience, I just haven't really seen around in the Gundam community, you know, as far as obviously there's a lot of stuff in here that we don't have model kits for. Some of these that we do, uh, but uh, model kits or artwork, it's like uh, different variants and designs that we just don't have a lot of recognition, I feel like. So it's cool to see those to kind of get some cool ideas that I think could be very helpful. Some more cool artwork here from uh, Exa Versus. So yeah, this is, a, I forget the name of this Gundam that we've seen over the past couple pages here. We did get a couple of Premium Bandai HG kits, I think two from that series that we did end up getting. So some really cool artwork here. I'm kind of like a bunch of different Gundam protagonists. That's kind of cool to see. It's all very interesting. And Gundam Crossbone. Uh, we saw a little bit of Gundam Crossbone earlier, but some different Gundam Crossbone stuff in here. Got an F91 there you saw as well. Some pilots, and it's cool to see a mix of like finished artwork as well as sketches in here too. Again, if you're a fan of doing this kind of artwork, that's definitely nice like reference material. Cool to see, just interesting, I'm sure. A lot of character illustrations here. Some really, really interesting cool designs for those. Now we're getting into section three, which is Gundam Works, where we'll see even more. It's not like we haven't seen a lot of Gundam Works already, but we got a lot of uh, sketch artwork here, which is quite cool, which it looks like it's sketch artwork uh, from the box art for some of these 80s boxes. So that's kind of interesting. So like the sketches uh, before the art goes to like the finished art form that was used for the box art, I guess. That's pretty awesome, including some sketches here of some different characters. Some really cool like MSV stuff we saw there. And here we got some more different Gundam uh, line art, which is very cool. From some different UC series, uh, some more kind of UC here, variant stuff, uh, MSV type of stuff here. 
Hopefully you guys can see that all right. It's kind of small, but really nice line art there. So here's some more uh, One Year War. And it looks like, let's see, 0083 in here as well. So kind of earlier UC stuff, which I was not expecting to see a whole lot of UC. You know, I, like I said, I knew that his art was primarily more um, alternate uni al alternative universe stuff. But um, there's a lot of sketches here for some different uh, Gundam UC artwork in there. Very cool. Here's some more Gundam Seed Astray there, which everyone loves. Kind of nice mix of stuff here. I do love seeing a lot of the uh, Gundam Astray F-Type. Really cool design. I'm a big fan. Got a Blue Destiny down here. Quite, well, this uh, it's much more varied than I was expecting. I mean, like just based on kind of like what's featured on the on the front, uh, you know, I had kind of expectations about what would be like the majority of like the different Gundam universes that were going to be featured in here. But he really just just kind of does work kind of uh, throughout all of both uh, Universal Century and alternative universes. There's quite a lot of stuff in here. This is uh, Namco Works. This is going to be a lot more stuff that now getting into stuff that I don't know what this stuff is. But hopefully some of you guys do and you can appreciate some of this stuff. Um, I don't have any idea what this series is from. Dragon Spirit, I guess. So Dragon Spirit, I don't know what that is. A game, I'm guessing, obviously, if it's a Namco uh, product. So uh, Wonder Momo is what this one is. Fortunately, there's a titling up at the top. The Legend of Valkyrie. So I guess this is just different to Namco games. So yeah, if you're a fan, that's also kind of cool to have that in here as well. It's obviously not like the main focus of this book, and I would assume that maybe not like the main focus of his art uh, as well. But you know, there's certainly a fair bit of it in here, especially in this kind of like SD sort of cute and uh, fantastical style. It does seem to be kind of his particular wheel wheelhouse. Uh, Wagyan Land series here. I've certainly seen this around, but I've never really known exactly like what it is. So I don't know, I'm guessing it's some sort of like either like puzzle or platformer game, something like that. Cosmo Gang series. So uh, some more, it's very like colorful as well, which is kind of cool. So Nemco Works collection, I guess this is just like varied, uh, various works there. Uh, Omoroid and Evoroids here. So this is other kind of like uh, non-Gundam but SD style kind of robot stuff here. Evoroids, uh, what I know of Evoroids is the Kotobukiya model kits of the Evoroids. I didn't know like really too much else about it. I don't know if there's any other kind of like any other source material other than the Kotobukiya model kits, but I guess maybe there is. I guess maybe it was some a series or something of some kind. I didn't really know anything about that. Interesting. But uh, now we're getting into the last section here, which is just various works. We can see some Gundam Girl designs here. Always cool. There of the, it looks like Gundam Mark II, Zeta, and the Astray Red Frame. Uh, some more Gundam Girl designs here of those same characters. Well, those, we got a Macross one in here as well, the Zeta and the Mark II. Interesting to note, as some of you guys may know, some of you may not, uh, this one here of the Armored Lady Zeta Gundam and the Armored Lady uh, Gundam Mark II are um, actual model kits that came out in, I uh, want to say, probably the late 80s, I would guess. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, not very good and not very easy to find either, but like some of the very first Mecha Musume model kits uh, that I know of that were ever produced. Um, it's hard to really find too much about them, but they do exist. They're out there. Uh, I've seen them, but I've not actually seen like uh, or built them. I've not seen them in hand, like the model kits themselves. So it's a bunch more various artwork here of all kinds of different stuff. It's just artwork, I guess, probably that just he did like personally, probably not stuff that was like uh, contracted work for Bandai or Namco or anything else like that. Uh, the majority of this is just probably personal stuff. All right, and now a an interview section here at the end, which is just going to be a big wall of Japanese text here uh, with Tokita-san and a particular interviewer. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, a big interview for a few pages going on. And then here I, at the end, a message from, and then the credits here at the very end, and then 
a kind of illustration, like a self-portrait illustration there in his very signature cute SD, very colorful style there of Tokita-san Koichi. All right. Very cool. So a lot of really awesome artwork in there. One that's really great for the collection, like I said, if you guys are fans of Gundam artwork or just like uh, anime, manga kind of style artwork there of particularly Gundam and then there was some other stuff we saw in there as well. But yeah, really nice collection of artwork here. Uh, if you're a fan of Koichi Tokita's work, uh, I would say it's definitely a good one to have for the collection. Certainly one that it's always great to see a lot of artwork like this. And in, like I said before, uh, in a lot of various styles in there as well. So it really kind of allows you to see like quite a wide range of style and certainly looks like many, many years of artwork kind of uh, in there. So it's kind of cool to see how like every artist goes through, you know, different uh, phases and different styles kind of in their artwork. So it's kind of cool to see that all reflected here in this book. Very cool. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What was some cool stuff that you enjoyed seeing taking a look through this MOOC here today. And as always, guys, make sure that you're subscribed to stay up to date on all these videos. I do these MOOC reviews, taking a look at different books like this. Uh, uh, basically every week is what I try to do one once per week. And of course, if you guys want to check out some model kits for yourself, uh, figures and tools, paints, supplies, all that good stuff, you can check the link down in the video description to USA Gundam Store. Got all sorts of cool stuff there for you guys to check out. And as always, just thank you all so much for your support watching the video. If you want to leave a like, if you want to subscribe while you're here, that would also be greatly appreciated. And just until next time, guys, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.